Hello everyone and welcome to the Matatalab Philippines Facebook page. Thank you for joining us. My name is Eston but you can call me Kuya E. So today I'm very excited to show you one of Matatalab's award-winning products, the Matatalab Light. But before we begin, please don't forget to like our Matatalab Philippines Facebook page and share it with your friends. So, Matatalab Light is a new and innovative robot toy. This may look like an ordinary toy, but it actually introduces the basic concept of coding or programming to the kids as early as three years old. By simply playing with Matatalab Light, the kids develop their computational thinking and problem-solving skills, providing a strong foundation for STEM education, which makes Matatalab Light perfect for homeschoolers, preschoolers, and elementary students who are in the STEM curriculum. And today, I'm going to show you the Matatalab Light. Let's start with the unboxing. Okay, so this is the Matatabot and this is the controller. With the Matatabot, it has a figurehead component which can be mounted magnetically onto the Matatabot and you can remove and replace the figure inside by using your nails here on the slot or with a coin like this. This is a Lego bricks adapter which means you can put on your favorite Lego toy as a replacement for this. Okay, so let's let's put it back there and then mount it on to the Matata bot. You can also mount the controller here to the Matata bot like that. Okay, so it's magnetically mounted. So the pairing for this is via Bluetooth. For the controller, you can play up to 24 hours on full charge and charging time is 3 hours. For the Matata bot, playtime is 4 to 5 hours and charging time is 2 hours. These two big LED lights serve as the face of the Matata bot. It has a power button, LED light indicator. For the controller, these are the buttons. Um, the forward button which moves the Matata bot forward. Backward button which moves the Matata bot backwards left turn button which turns the matata bot to the left it doesn't move forward it just turns to the left and turn right button which turns the matata bot to the right again it doesn't move forward it just turns the matata bot to the right it also has a power button a usb-c port charger led light indicator and the mode switches the first one is the control mode and the second one is the coding mode and the third one is the sensor mode. It also has a sensor here uh, which detects um, color, distance, and light. Okay, let's set this aside for a moment and I'll show you the other things included in the box. This is a map, a simple map, and a um, USB-C charger cable, user guide, theme stickers which you can stick onto the controller, food stickers, animal stickers, quick start guide, and the challenge booklets for the control mode and the coding mode. Okay, so let's now start playing with Matata Love Light. Let's turn the power on. And as it turns on, it will begin flashing a blue light on the eyes as it seeks connection to the controller. Once they connected, it will the Matata bot will play a sound. There. So it means they are now paired and we can now begin playing with the Matata Okay, so let's begin with the control mode. First, make sure that the switch is on the control mode. Then press the forward button to move the Matata bot forward. Backwards. Turn to the left.
and turn to the right forward again backwards and when you press the music button it will play around the music So one of the features of Matata Lab Lite is the gyroscope. This controller has a built-in gyroscope which allows freedom of movement for the Matata bot. With the gyroscope feature of the Matata Lab Lite, you can simply move the Matata bot by tilting the controller like so. So tilting the controller forward will move the Matata bot forward. Tilting it backwards will move the Matata bot backwards. Tilting it to the left, return it to the left, and tilting it to the right will turn the Matata bot to the right. To enter the gyro control, press and hold the play button for 2 seconds. And while still holding it, just tilt the controller to move the Matata bot. Aside from the gyroscope, the kids will also have a lot of fun playing the racing game. To enter the racing mode, press and hold the clear button for 2 seconds and start shaking the controller. Another cool feature of the Matata Lab Lite is the ability to play a musical note by color. It has a sensor that detects colors and plays a musical note on each color. So to enter the music mode, again, make sure that it is on the control mode and press the music button for 2 seconds and point the sensor directly on the colors, like so. Now let's play Mary Has a Little Lamb. Now this time let's try playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So that's all for the control mode. To recap, the control mode has gyro control, racing mode, and the music mode. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the coding mode. In coding mode, the kids start learning the basic concept of programming by entering a series of commands into the controller and pressing the play button to have the Matata bot execute the command. To enter the coding mode, turn the switch into the coding mode. Now that you are in the coding mode, enter the commands that you want the Matata bot to execute. For example, if you want the Matata bot to move forward twice, you press the forward button twice. One, the forward action is indicated with a green light and then you press play. As you have noticed, each command that the Matata bot is executing is highlighted on the controller. Let's see that again. Press the play button. there you go. To clear the commands, just press the clear button.
Okay, now let's try this challenge. What we want to do is have Matatabot move from its current location here to here. This is his goal. And I've placed some roadblocks, which means that Matatabot cannot go through it. Okay, so first the action is forward. So press forward button and then turn to the left, left turn and move forward again and then turn to the right and move forward again. Now turn to the left and move forward again. Now let's see if I did it right. Press the play button. Yay! Okay, so now let's try another challenge. So what we want to do is have Matatabot travel here. And when it reaches this triangle, it should play a music and then finish his goal here. Okay, so since the Matatabot is facing here, we need to turn it to the left. Sorry. Okay, just one turn to the left and then move forward twice and turn again to the left and move forward once and then play music and then move forward again let's see if we did it right press the play button Yay! Now let's try a last challenge. This time you want the matata but to come here but without using the forward button. So how do we do it? So with the matata but facing forward and without using the forward button, let's turn the matata but to the right. So it's now facing here. And then use the backwards backwards button to come here and turn to the right again and backwards and turn to the right again and then backwards again I hope I get this right so let's find out press play yay that concludes my demo for the matata lab light as a recap this robot teaches kids the basic concept of programming and develops their computational thinking and problem-solving skills. It has three modes, the control mode, coding mode, and the sensor mode. In the control mode, they have gyroscope control, racing mode, and the music mode. For the coding mode, you enter a series of commands for the Matatabot to do. And for the sensor mode, which detects obstacles, colors, and motion. And fortunately, the sensor mode is not yet available in the Philippines, but please like and follow the Matatalab PH Facebook page to get updates on the latest news for Matatalab Philippines. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next demo. Bye!